Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, I know a lot of theme parks have big entrances, but this entrance to Motion Gate in Dubai is ridiculous. It is absolutely vast. I don't know how busy the park is going to be today, but I've bought a fast track just in case. It is considered high season here in Dubai, so you never know. This is all set in Dubai parks and there's actually a Bollywood theme park and also Legoland Dubai is just behind me as well with a huge hotel. But I'm here to go and check out Motion Gate. Let's go and see if it's good as the reviews say. Come on. It's going to take me about 20 minutes. <laughs> It looks like the ticket office is closed. Opening times today up until eight o'clock. Here's the park map. So what is in here, what I'm looking forward to seeing is uh, the Green Hornet Coaster, the replica of the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Zombieland has a sky drop. There's a whole DreamWorks area. I think these are reasonably new. John Wick, and now you see me high roller. Let's go and check it out. So as you enter into the park, a little bit like a, a main street area with the big loud theme park music playing in the background. So the theme park is based around obviously movie studios, Columbia Pictures, Lionsgate and DreamWorks. I think that's most of them. So, what should we check out first? I think the most popular area is, um, is DreamWorks, which is right in front of me. So first up, I'm going to head into Columbia Pictures, because this is where Ghostbusters is, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this out. I think that might be Hotel Transylvania in front. I can hear the Ghostbusters music. <laughs> so I don't know how busy it's going to be today, but I have got a fast track because I know as the, uh, the sun goes down, it will get busier. In the summer, temperatures can get up to 50 degrees. And that's why they've got all these fans around the park with misting and stuff like that. So this is a replica of the Ghostbusters firehouse in the movie Ghostbusters. That looks so cool. I wonder what this is like. If I can film in, I'm not sure. Look, there's real Ghostbuster stuff. The proton pack. And the ghost traps. That's pretty cool. Obviously when you go for the fast track, you don't get the full immersive experience, do you? There's the slime machine from Ghostbusters 2, I think. to the gift shop. What Ghostbusters stuff do they have? Ghostbusters mug with spoon. Ghostbusters hat. T-shirt, cool. Okay, so I was looking forward to going on that. The theming on the outside and actually in the ride is better than the actual ride itself. I think it was lacking quite a lot. Hotel Transylvania. Again, I bought a QFAST ticket, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> What's happening? 
Okay, this is weird. There's cars crossing over each other. You're just randomly going anywhere. I specifically said no fire! <laughs> Look at all the candles. It's a shame they don't move. Everything's just still and a little bit sparse. All you do is basically just go into all the little rooms on an invisible track. In the bar area, all the tables with little lights on it. <laughs> oh, they're moving. Well, again, that ride wasn't exactly exciting. And for obvious reasons, there's rides that I can't film on, like this one, which actually isn't too high. Or it doesn't look too high, but I'm sure when I'm up there it is. They're actually playing Bobby Brown on our own, on a loop from Ghostbusters 2. So this is the longest queue today, 30 minutes for the, um, the rapids, which obviously I can't film on. Obviously I don't want to get my camera wet either. It's like a huge boat from uh, Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs. The park is pretty quiet right now and that's probably because it's the very warmest part of the day and people aren't silly in Dubai. <laughs> They'll wait till it's a little bit cooler. That Green Hornet ride looks good, again I can't film on this going up in these little cars. Well that's Columbia Pictures done. Wasn't overly impressed with that. Let's see if Smurfs Village is any better. Now don't get me wrong, the theming around the park is totally amazing. Just at the minute, the rides have been a little bit of a letdown. It's like play park and cafes. Little houses look so cool. The Smurf Studio Tour. Why on earth did I buy a fast track? <laughs> okay, so let's head into DreamWorks. Again, it's absolutely huge. This building looks pretty big. What's inside? Probably get told I can't film. Is it like a shopping mall? Wow, that's pretty special. All in bronze. Wow, look at the ceiling. All right, so we've got Shrek, How to Teach a Dragon, Madagascar, and then Kung Fu Panda. Now again, I'm not sure whether I can film on any of these rides, but we'll uh, give it a go. Wow, it's like a huge studio. Blimey. Unstoppable awesomeness. So the unstoppable awesomeness wasn't so awesome because we went and watched two rather long videos of Kung Fu Panda, which I couldn't film, and then the ride um, broke down, so we couldn't go on it. Some teacup rides there. Well, let's see if Madagascar in here is any better. Funky mirrors. Ah, oh, I see, so it's a bit like a, a fun fair. Again, the branding is pretty amazing. Like the kind of branding you'd see at a, uh, a theme park like Universal or Disney. Get 
So the Madagascar Mad Pursuit was really good. It's one of those accelerating rides that goes really fast. It's also in the dark, so you wouldn't have seen much. It also comes out into this area and then goes back in again. It was brilliant. The theme into this place is brilliant. Although, should there be something there? Let's head into Shrek. Now, when I first came in here, Shrek was wandering around. I think he's gone now. This place is huge. Look at the little shops and the toilets. It's like walking around in an actual movie set. Not only is the theming great, but then the rides are set all in these little areas. So there's one more area to check out in here, how to train your dragon. A couple of rides in here then, there's a pirate ship, looks like over there. What looks like a little mini water park. I so didn't expect to see all of this in here. Food places. Unfortunately, I couldn't film in Dragon Glide, but that was totally amazing. A full immersive experience on a roller coaster and also lights and sounds. You're seeing these four cars that move independently, parts of the movie animatronics in there, and then the coaster actually comes out and goes all the way around this room and then goes back in again. And they even have a big show bar in here as well. Looks like they're doing some rehearsing at the minute. Okay, so, so far, DreamWorks has been the best part about this theme park. I mean, it's like a theme park inside there itself. And each individual room, the theming is also great, but there's also rides within those rooms. So it's rooms within rooms within rooms, and they're still absolutely massive. So the last area to check out, and I think this is probably where most of the extreme rides are, Lionsgate. Wow, look at this. It's a little mini Fremont Street. Like, if you've been to Vegas before, you'll know what Fremont Street is all about. From the movie Now You See Me. Look at that. See the theming just for this one particular ride. All those cards. None of these shops are real. It's all like a facade. fake casino look there more fake shops wow that is impressive this is theming for a roller coaster to the extreme I mean that's the coaster over there and all of this is the theming for that one coaster this is all just for a ride reception if you've seen this movie it will make sense if you haven't then it won't 
I doubt, I'm not going to be able to film on the coaster, but I just wanted to show you just even the queue line. Is there anybody else on this ride? Certainly is a blooming long queue line, right? Honestly, I am blown away with the theming here. It's amazing. Unfortunately, that's not open. John Wick, open contract. Bit of a shame. Let's see what else is here. I think there's Hunger Games or something. If you've seen the Hunger Games, this will look familiar. It's a real shame I can't film on some of these rides, but obviously it's all to do with safety. Aerial tour, I think you were, uh, that's like, like another flying one. You can see that. It's almost like Dubai's version of Red Arrows flying across. So in total, they've got four coasters in this area. Well, Motion Gate Dubai, I definitely would come back here again. The only thing that let the park down was the Colombian Pictures area, to be honest. Maybe that's aimed at younger children. The rest of the park was really good. The theme into this park is totally insane. The DreamWorks bit was amazing. The Lions Gate and the roller coasters over there were equally also really good. So if you ever do come to Dubai, do check out Motion Gate. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Motion Gate. If you want to see more of my videos from Dubai, click here or here. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.